People who don't necessarily believe in God believe in judgment. Almost everybody thinks that the way a person lives will determine their destiny after death. There is this intuitive sense that a person gets a reward for life, a life well lived. Unfortunately, the bar is set pretty low. If you didn't kill anybody or rob a bank, you're probably going to heaven, they say. In Revelation 20, there's a scene where the dead are judged. They're judged by whether their names are in a volume called the Book of Life. Those whose names are not in this book will suffer a second death. God's standard is perfection. So how do imperfect people get their names written in the Book of Life? Our names must be written there by Jesus Christ. Being in this book is an act of grace, not a reward for perfect obedience, since anything less than perfect obedience is insufficient to receive eternal life. Everlasting life is a gift, not for the most worthy, but to anyone who surrenders to God in Jesus. As for the other books at Judgment, they contain the recorded deeds of every human who has ever lived. For the child of God, this is going to be fun because God doesn't hold our sins against us. So the good we have done in love will be explored and exalted. God's grace extends even into judgment. Our forgiven sins will not be in the book of deeds. God's children have one who stands between a holy God and flawed people, Jesus Christ. And guess what? He's also our judge. Judgment day for the follower of Christ will not be a day of condemnation but a day of commendation. No wonder Jude said that those who follow Jesus will be present at judgment without fault and with great joy.